know, this guy now is submitted in Ranger history. There's going to be a photo that's going to be across this ballpark of this guy spiking the glove down, Gronk style, right? <laughs> Sporzy, congratulations, man. Thank you. Just, Appreciate um, it. You know, we talked earlier in the year, and we talked about the injuries, overcoming that, just things that you had to go through, the hate, obviously, on social media, just the doubters. And you're the, mainly one of the main reasons why the Rangers are in this situation. Can you talk about that and just being a champ now? Yeah. I mean, it feels good to be a champ, obviously. Uh, but, you know, it's a long season for baseball, 162 games. Uh, you know, you're going to go through those struggles. Uh, so, you know, I knew I was in a good place when I was struggling. You know, it wasn't a command problem. That's usually what, when I'm going bad, it's I'm not throwing strikes. But uh, so I knew that I just needed to get, you know, my balls moving in the right way. None of them were moving right. Sliders were bad. Curveballs were bad. Heaters were bad. And just, you know, getting that adjustment, that little adjustment was all I needed. And I think when I got activated, pitched in Seattle twice, I knew I was back to normal and, you know, I knew I could help this team. You know, um, I know you haven't seen it yet because you obviously were playing in the game, but just, you know, a lot of all-time greats, like former pitchers, they're giving you high praise as if, you know, they're saying you're the next guy that could just be a part of this lineage of great relievers, man. Just hearing the fans now support, you got the nickname, the sports, your nickname is everywhere now. Um, just getting that support just throughout baseball, man, of how great you've been. How does that feel for you? It was great. Um, you know, I think I think my favorite part of this whole thing is watching the fans celebrate, watching their reactions. I think seeing the the party that was over there and the confetti, the people just throwing their drinks. You know, I think that was the mo moment for me that was most special. Is just you know looking at the fans and you know a lot of these people have been waiting for this for a long time. And, you know, just being able to bring it to them means a lot to me. I love it, man. So strike three call happens. I know, like, no, nobody knows how to react, but it seemed like you had the plan spike football glove scenario. Was that a plan? Like, the, the no spike plan, but like in the moment. So in college, uh, when we won, uh, my buddy did double hands up. I knew I couldn't copy him, so uh, I think I copied Daniel Hudson from the Nationals when he did a glove spike. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Let's just let's just do that one. And then the second goal was to not fall down and get on the dog pile. I did not want to be at the bottom. There's a lot of big dudes on this team, and I think I would die. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Don't All right. want Edwin Diaz. Huh? Don't want Edwin Diaz. No. No, I, I, I learned a lot from that moment, unfortunately. It was, you know, we, as much as you can celebrate, you still can't get hurt. So now the question becomes is, you no longer can walk through DFW or the city as just a normal guy. The minute you're going to be recognizing a lot of people's, like, faces now, even the non-baseball fans that know you as the guy that got this team to that point to clinch it. How's that feeling going to be for you now? It's going to be cool. I mean, you know, the good thing is I shaved the beard. General <laughs> Spores from Civil War is gone. You know, so hopefully I can I can blend in still a little bit. Um, but, you know, like I said, I was just happy that we brought it back home. You know, these these people have been waiting for a long time for us to win. Well, Spores, congratulations, man. I'm so happy for you, man. Go celebrate. Thank take you, man. Appreciate it.